Hello there Retroheads, Benny Williams here again for Home Tideaway. In this video I'm going to show you how you can properly map your joystick or your keyboard settings for the Vice Emulator in RetroPie so each time you play the game and when you exit it you won't have to remap your settings or button configuration every time. I'm going to show you how to do it once and for all. Um, I've It's already mapped as you can see here so what we're going to do is go down to machine settings go to joystick settings and what you're going to need to do is I think originally the joystick devices are set to none if they're set to joystick already then don't worry but you want to go into your joystick device where it says none make sure you've got it set to joysticks and hit your back button what you also want to do then is go down to your joystick mapping and you want to hit your button, press up for up, down for down, left for left, right for right, and fire for fire. Make sure you don't use your back button to for your fire button, otherwise you're going to have to restart it and do it all again. Otherwise you just cause yourself a few issues. Also, while you're doing this, make sure that joystick 2 mapping is also done, because obviously with the Commodore 64 there's two user ports. So, again, just go through it, map your controls. After that, what you want to do is go back and go back again to your Vice main menu. What we want to do here is go down to Settings Management. You want to save the current settings. You want to make sure that Save Settings on Exit has the asterisk there, all you've got to do is just hit your button, just takes it on or takes it off. Confirm on exit, make sure that's highlighted with the asterisk, so you just hit the button to take it on, take it off. And the really important thing here, before you finish off doing anything or go back, go down, save your hotkeys. Hotkeys is important for doing this bit, strangely enough, even though, you know, it's setting up your hotkeys is optional you don't have to do that and then go down to say joystick map which is the most important thing to do before we finish okay and then once you go back you then quit your emulator do you really want to do this yes and then you want to hit your start button to bring up your main menu quit restart emulation station wait for it to load back up Go over to Commodore 64, load one of the games that you're playing. So I just had Goblin on there by Pun Software, so I'm going to load that back up again. It takes a few seconds to load. And there we go, there it is working again as it was earlier. So I'm going to go into the settings and I'm going to swap it around a little bit. I'm going to keep up and down as they are and swap around right and left. So as you can see if I hold left it will go right, I hold right it will go left. Uh, so go to start, go down to settings management, save current settings, go down to save joystick map, go back quit emulator, yes I want to really quit, we'll go back in. So at this point you don't necessarily have to restart emulation station after you've done it once because each time before if you wasn't to save your settings each time you left the vice emulator and restarted again it will always change your settings back to the standard settings not what you saved it as so of course you know this is still on the left and right here so I'm going to change it back 
to what it was. Just going to make sure that the mapping for joystick one is done again properly too. So I put those back, then down to settings management again, save current settings, go down to joist, save joystick map, sorry, and then you can go back and it's back to how it was again. So I hope that was a helpful tip for you. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. If you haven't already and you like what you see, please subscribe, leave a comment and like the video. Cheers guys, bye bye.